Straight from Sri Vrindavan Nam, big Hare Krishna to all of you. We'd like to welcome you all to this wonderful Nam, World Harinam Week. Used to be day, now it's a whole week of Harinam. And we hope that all of you are safe and increasing your hearing and chanting. Today we're very honored to be here with you to discuss the fourth purpose of Srila Prabhupada, to propagate the chanting of the Holy Name. So, the original propagator of the Holy Name, of course, is Lord Chaitanya. So, we'll begin with a beautiful song about Lord Chaitanya chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. If you, you won't find it in your songbook, but if you have your device with you, you can look up Sundara Lala, or some people have translated Sundara Bala. Either one you'll find. And this is a very beautiful song of Lord Chaitanya that I first heard from Bhakti Charu Maharaj. Sundara Lala Sachi Dulala Nachata Sri Hari Kirtana Me Sundara Lala Sachi Dulala Nachata Sri Hari Kirtana Me Sundara Lala Sachi Dulala 
नाशत श्री हरि कीर्तन में सुंदर लाल सचिरु लाल नाशत श्री हरि कीर्तन में बल्ले चंदन तिलक मनोहर आलक शोभे खपोल न में बल्ले चंदन तिलक मनोहर आलक शोभे खपोल न बोलो सुने लाल सचिरु लाल नाचत श्री हरि कीर्तन में सुने लाल सचिरु लाल नाचत श्री हरि कीर्तन में श्री रे चूर दर्शन राले बनपुल माला ही पर डोले श्री रे चूर दर्शन राले बनपुल माला ही पर डोले पाइर न पिता पतांबर चोबे नुपुर रुनु जुनु चरण न में पाइर न पिता पतांबर चोबे नुपुर रुनु जुनु चरण न में बोलो सुंदर लाल सचिरु लाल नाचत श्री हरि कीर्तन में सुंदर लाल सचिरु लाल नाचत श्री हरि कीर्तन में राधा कृष्ण एक तनु हे निर्वन माजे बंसी बजावे राधा कृष्ण एक तनु हे निर्वन माजे बंसी बजावे विश्व रूप की प्रभु जी साही आवत प्रकट नरिया में विश्व रूप की प्रभु जी साही आवत प्रकट नरिया में बोलो सुंदर लाल सचिरु लाल नाचत श्री हरि कीर्तन में सुंदर लाल सचिरु लाल नाचत श्री हरि कीर्तन में कोई गवत हे राध कृष्ण नाम कोई गवत हे हरि गुण गान कोई गवत हे राध कृष्ण नाम कोई गवत हे हरि गुण गान मृदंग ताल मधुर रसाल बजत हे कोई रंगन में मृदंग ताल मधुर रसाल बजत हे कोई रंगन में बोलो सुंदर लाल सचिरु लाल नाचत श्री हरि कीर्तन में सुंदर लाल सचिरु लाल नाचत श्री हरि कीर्तन में बोलो सुंदर लाल सचिरु लाल नाचत श्री हरि कीर्तन में सुंदर लाल सचिरु लाल नाचत श्री हरि कीर्तन में बोलो नाचत श्री हरि कीर्तन में नाचत श्री हरि कीर्तन में बोलो श्री सचिनंदन गौर हरि गो सुंदर लाल सचि दुलाल नाचत श्री हरि कीर्तन में सो आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ यू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ सुंदर बाय नाउ सुंदर मीन्स ब्यूटिफुल जस्ट लाइक आर डी डी सीर बृंदावन राधा श्याम सुंदर सो सुंदर लाल इन ब्रज When we want to call a little boy, then we say, "Oh, Lala, come here, Lala." Uh, so, Lala means young boy. Mm -hmm. And who's little boy? Sachi Dula, the little boy of Sachi Mata. Sundar Lala, Sachi Dula Lala, Nachata. Nachata means dancing. And where that little boy is dancing? That little boy of Sachi Mata, Nachata Sri Hari Kirtan. He's dancing in Sri Hari Kirtan. In this dark age of Kali, this is the recommended process of chanting very loudly and very enthusiastically. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 
So again, we welcome you to this World Harinam Week. And we're discussing about Harinam today. Uh, so we hope that all of you are well and safe and increasing your Krishna consciousness in this difficult time. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurve Namah Sri Chaitanya Manubhistam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Sayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadam Digam Aradana Stranandam Daivridam Yache Puna Puna Srima Rupa Padam Bhujo Dhulisyam Janma Janmani Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nitananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shivasari Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Manja kalpa trubhyasca kripa sindhu vevacca patitanam bhavani vyo vaishnavi vyo namo nama. So we're just singing about how Lord Chaitanya was always dancing in Sri Hari Nam Sankirtan. Because he came to inaugurate the Yuga Dharma of this age. And not that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu invented something. Because we can't invent anything, we have to follow scripture, shastra. Shastra comes from the word shasan, to guide. The shastra is there to guide us back to the lotus feet of Sri Sri Radha Shama Sundar. Mm -hmm. So we all know that very important verse from Brihad uh, Naradiya Parama. Harer Nama, Harer Nama, Harer Nama Eva Kevalam. Kalu and Asteva and Asteva and Asteva Gatiranyata. We know this verse by heart. This verse is emphasizing that in this Kali Yuga, the specific process is chanting the holy name. How many emphases are there? Everyone says three. But we're going to see many emphases are there. Hmm? First, three times Harir Nam, Harir Nam, Harir Nam. Chanting the holy name, chanting the holy name, chanting the holy name. So that's three. Then Eva. Eva is a very small Sanskrit word, but it's not used very casually. Hmm? Whenever you put Eva, tiny, two little syllables, then the word behind it becomes very heavy. Hmm? So Eva, certainly. Kevalam. Kevalam means only. So three, four, five emphasis. Then Nasteva, Nasteva, Nasteva. Three more, eight emphasis on this process of chanting the holy name. Hmm? Now, if you preach in India, you'll run into people, they will say, this is from Smriti. We want Praman from uh, Shruti. Shruti means Vedas and uh, Upanishads. So there's one Upanishad, Kaliya Santra Upanishad. In the Kaliya Santra Upanishad, there's a part where Narmuni, after passing by the earth, he comes to his father, Lord Brahma. And he says, My dear Pita Sri, I have just come from the earth. And now Kali Yuga is about to begin there. Uh, and people will be influenced by so many bad influences. So many sinful influences will be there. How can they be saved, Pita Sri? Please tell me. Lord Brahma, he was very satisfied. Uh, because ordinarily when people come to ask questions, they ask questions for their own benefit. We call swart, for own benefit. Huh? Um, people think sadhu means yadu, magic. Hmm? That Maharaj, please bless me, that my business don't fail in this coronavirus time. Maharaj, uh, my daughter is 30 years old, she didn't get married yet. Please bless me, I get her married very quickly. Maharaj, my son ran away from home. We haven't seen him for three years. Please bless me, he'll for our own benefit. But Narad Muni's question was for the benefit of everyone. So Lord Brahma was very, very satisfied. Huh? Lord Brahma said, hey, butts. Because young people we call in Sanskrit, we call butts. Just like you know, uh, Krishna killed one asura, butts asura. Vatsa means calf. Huh? 
Because as soon as we sing calf, then Bad Saliyaras comes from our heart. Uh -huh. So he said, but I will tell you that in this dark age of Kali, simply by chanting the holy name of Bhagwan Adi Purushri Narayan, one can be saved from the evil influence of Kali. Simply by chanting the holy name of Bhagwan Adi Purushri Narayan, one can be saved from the evil influence of Kali. Hmm. Just like now it's rainy season, and here in Vrindavan we're having a very nice rainy season. Uh, it's just coming to an end now. But everything is very green and beautiful. So there's nobody there that can stop the rain. When rainy season comes, rain is going to come. Nobody can stop it, not Trump, nor Biden, nor anybody. Uh, but if we take an umbrella, rain is going on, uh, but the effect is not coming on us. So in the same way, uh, there's no one who can stop this Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga is going on, we're seeing it before our very eyes every day. Uh, nobody can stop it. But if we take the holy name, the umbrella of this holy name, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This Kali Yuga is going on, but the effect is not coming on us. So Narmuni said, Pita Sri, this is very wonderful. But tell me, Pita Sri, what is the form of this name? What is the form of this name? Mm -hmm. The Lord Brahma, very clearly he says to uh, his son Narmuni, the form of the name is like this. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Iti soda sakanam nam nam, kali kalmasha nashanam. Iti sodasha nam nam. Sodas means sixteen, ten or six. Iti sodasha nam nam, kali kalmasha nashanam. We heard this word nash before. Preachanaya sadhanam, binashaya chajuskritam. That this. 16 names of the Lord, 32 syllables, this will destroy the evil influence of Kali. Iti soda shayanam nam nam Kali kalmasha nashanam. And Narmuni said, Pita Sri, that's very wonderful. But tell me, Pita Sri, what are the rules and regulations? What is the niyam? Uh, vidi, niti vidi, what is all the rules? And Lord Brahma says, hey, what's there's no type of rule or regulation whatsoever for chanting this holy name. No rule or regulation whatsoever. Then immediately devotees will ask them, why are we following four regular principles? Why are we chanting 16 rounds every day? Why do we go to Mangalarti? Huh? Not those rules and regulations. This is talking about Desha Kala Patra, time, place and person. Hmm? So for chanting the holy name, there's no time, any time, any, any place, anywhere, anyone. Huh? Just like here in Vrindavan, you'll, sometimes you'll hear sadhu going down the street at midnight, Radhe Sham, Radhe Sham. Any time of day or night you can chant this holy name. Hmm? At any place. Huh? Just like there was one sevak of Mahaprabhu named Gopal. He's a young boy. He used to serve Mahaprabhu. So in the morning Mahaprabhu would go to the jungle. This is the code word for going to the bathroom. Uh, so Gopal would wait with a pot of water to wash his hands. And when Mahaprabhu came he was holding his tongue like this. And Gopal said, because little boy, four or five year old boy, he can ask any question without any inhibition. He said, Prabhu, Prabhu, why are you holding your tongue like this? Hmm? And Mahaprabhu said, I'm going to a dirty place to do some dirty thing. This tongue always, Hare Krishna, never stops. So I'm holding him like that. And Gopal, little boy can ask any question. He said, at that time you leave your body? That time you leave your body, what will happen? 
And Mahaprabhu said, Oh, Gopal, you have become my guru. Now you have become my guru. He became known as Gopal Guru, great Acharya in our Gaudiya Sampradaya. Hmm? So even that place we can chant. There's no question of time or place or even person. Uh, anybody, Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Sudra, foreigner, man, woman, child, old man, young man, Prabhupada says even dog can take part in it. Uh, so no, no rule or regu regulation concerning time, place or circumstance. And then Lord Brahma continues, and I will tell you one thing, but, but you can log on to Google and search through the entire Vedas. You will not find a better remedy than this for this uh, time of Kali Yuga. You search through the whole Vedas, you will not find a better remedy. And within these 16 names, in fact, the entire Vedas are con contained. So there we have it from uh, Shruti, from the Upanishads, Kaliya Santra Upanishad, that this chanting of the holy name in this Kali Yuga is the recommended process. Hmm. And why this holy name is so powerful? Actually, Mahaprabhu, he was discussing with Prakasanan Saraswati in Banaras. Because uh, the Mayavadis were asking why he's not studying Vedanta and he's chanting and dancing. These things are prohibited generally for sannyasi. Hmm. And Mahaprabhu in that discussion, he quotes a very beautiful verse from Padma Puran. Nama Chintamani Krishna's Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha uh, Purna Sudo Nitya Mukto Abhinatvam Nama Nami No. He said this name, Nama Chintamani, it is not made of anything material. Krishna's. It is Krishna himself, Nama Chintamani Krishna's Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha. It is full of ras. Huh? Our Param Guru Srila Bhakti Sadan Saraswati has translated rust as very tasty thing. We're just begging to get a taste for that name, but he said it's very tasty. Rasa Vigra, it is a form of rust. Nama Chintamani Krishnas, Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha. Purno, it is complete. Shudo, it is pure. Nitya, it is eternal. Mukta, it is completely limited. It has nothing to do with this material world. Abhinat one, nama nami, no. The, pers the thing named and the name are non-different. Krishna's name is non-different from Krishna himself. This is the power of this holy name. This is why Mahaprabhu has emphasized this holy name. This, by chanting the holy name, we get the opportunity to associate with Krishna personally. Hmm? This is a... Uh, very wonderful verse. This is from Padma Purana. And uh, how to chant. Actually, there's a very beautiful verse. I found this in one Shivastakam. Since the beginning of my Krishna consciousness, I was always taught that Lord Chaitanya only wrote eight slokas of Shikshastakam. But my dear godbrother Dasara Sutta, he has, he has published one book called The Poetry of Mahaprabhu. In that poetry, in that book, he has collected many, many different things written by Tri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. Uh, in fact, in Murari Gupta's Kadacha, his notebooks, it talks about when he was in South India, he entered into a uh, Shiva temple. And spontaneously, he wrote, he uh, uh, composed rather, Shivastakam, eight prayers glorifying Lord Shiva. Two of those I memorized completely. One of them is very, very nice, appropriate for this verse today. He says, Sri Rama Govinda Makunda Sori, Sri Krishna Narayana Vasudeva, Ityadi Namamrita Panamata, Bringadi Payaki Laduka Hantre. So Lord Chaitanya, he describes uh, Lord Shiva, Akila Dukkha Hantri, who takes away all the sadness of this world. Hmm? How does he do that? How is he able to do that? Sri Rama Govinda Makunda Sore, Sri Krishna Narayana Vasudeva, Ityadi Namamrita. 
Ityari, Ari in Sanskrit means etc. All of these beautiful names we just mentioned. And at, Atyari, etc. Namamrita. Panamata. Lord Shiva, he's able to take away the miseries of this world because he's always absorbed in relishing uh, the Namamrita, a nectar of these names of Krishna. Ityari Namamrita. Um, adipa, bring Adipa. How is he never relishing? Just like the king, bring Adipa. Bring Adipa means the king of the bumblebees. Uh, just like inside the lotus flower, we'll find a very special nectar called Makarand. Uh, this Makarand drives the bees crazy. In fact, they will sit there all day long drinking that Makarand, drinking that nectar. Now many of you may know that the lotuses at night time, they close up. Uh, if that bee doesn't get out before nightfall, then that lotus will close around him, he'll suffocate and die. Many times the lotuses bloom in the morning when the sun rises and there's poor dead bee is there. Hmm? But that nectar is so sweet, that bee just goes on drinking, the lotus is closing, he just goes on drinking. Uh, uh, that nectar is so sweet, he doesn't care, let death come, I'll go on drinking. So in the same way, we have to relish this holy name like that. That we just go on drinking, even death comes in front of us. We just go on, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So I'll repeat that verse one for us, so sweet. Sri Rama Govinda Mukunda Sore, Sri Krishna Narayana Vasudeva, Ityadi nama amrita panamata bringadi payaki ladu kahantre. So this nam, he's so sweet, he's non different from Krishna, he's so powerful. Actually, Mahaprabhu, when he was discussing one time with Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya, he quotes a very nice verse in Chaitanya Charitamrita. What did he say? Nava vida bhakti purna nama hoite haya. That nava vida bhakti purna nama hoite haya. That this, we all know these nine processes of devotional service. Prahlad Maharaj's wonderful verse in Srimad Bhagavatam. We know Sravanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam, etc. Hmm? But poor and they only become complete with Nam Sankirtan. Already Kirtan is there, that is ordinary Kirtan. But it here is specifically mentioned Nam Ahoy, by Nam Sankirtan, all the processes of Bhakti become complete. Just like we see how Prabhupada has arranged our Krishna conscious movement, everything is, com is accompanied by Nam Sankirtan. Uh, just like for us, Arti means Kirtan. Whenever there's Arctic, then we have ecstatic kirtan. The first time we came to India, we got big shock. Uh, because Arctic means it's kirtan. Either we're chanting Sansara Dava, we're chanting Kiba Jayo, or Ayasomati Nandana. Arctic means kirtan. And we, Prabhupada brought us to India. We went to an Indian temple. Uh, and as soon as Arctic started, bam, 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 uh, you couldn't even, even if you chanted, you couldn't hear the chanting. Uh, so for us, kirtan, Arctic means kirtan. If Abhishek is there, there's kirtan. Uh, even if marriage is going on, uh, just like I always say, marriage in Krishna consciousness is very simple. Uh, Swaha, Haribo, and Mahaprasadi Govinde. So even for marriage, we accompany it with Nam Sankirtan. Nam Sankirtan is so important. Nava Vida Bhakti Nama. Purna nama hoite hai. We, Prabhupada, in that purport to that verse, he describes how we add the chanting of Hare Krishna to all the different parts of bhakti. It's very important. And just to show how important this nam sankirtan is, just like in old days, it's practically all we did was nam sankirtan. And nam became famous all over the world. We became now we're known, even today, the Hare Krishnas. Hmm? Uh, in fact, I'll tell you, illustrate one story how important this was to see the Prabhupada. This was the first time that I met 
Srila Prabhupada. Because mm -hmm. I join in Boulder, Colorado in the middle of the Rocky Mountains of uh, America. And in 1970 they sent me to LA, but that time the temple was on La Cienega Boulevard, not the one we have now in Watsika. And in La Cienega Boulevard, it was a small church and there wasn't any place for Prabhupada to live. So he stayed, they had a flat nearby where Prabhupada stayed. He came in the morning for Darshan Artik. After Darshan Artik, then he would give stream of Bhagavatam class. And I remember very clearly after Bhagavatam class, he would do five, ten minutes of Nam Sankirtan. We don't do it anymore, but after Bhagavatam class, there was Nam Sankirtan for five, ten minutes. I can remember Prabhupada, he had his gong, he'd hang the loop around his thumb and he'd play his gong and we'd do Nam Sankirtan. Then he returned to his flat. So we came from Boulder driving, we got there afternoon, so we weren't going to see Prabhupada till the next day. And this is going to be my first time seeing Prabhupada. And, but it happened to be a Saturday night because we were going to have initiation ceremony on Sunday, because we used to try to do all these things to attract people. So we would do the initiation on a Sunday, so people would come see a fire sacrifice and everything. So Friday and Saturday in LA meant we went to Hollywood Boulevard. Mm -hmm. So that evening we all went down to Hollywood Boulevard. And in America, if chanting the holy name of the Lord is your religion, the police can't stop you. But if somehow or other you block traffic anyway, then they'll catch you on that one. So on Hollywood Boulevard, there was a place where there was, the sidewalk was very wide and there was a big triangular area in front of the doorway to this restaurant called Diamond Gyms. Mm -hmm. We won't mention what they were serving there. Mm -hmm. So we could push people into that diamond shaped area. And we kept the sidewalk traffic free. And so we were happy. Uh, the police were happy, only Diamond Jims was very unhappy. Uh, and we had a very wonderful devotee that time, he wasn't Swami yet, that was Vishnujan Das Brahmachari. And even Prabhupada said, he will chant his way back to Goloka. He chanted so wonderfully. And he would organize us all, we were all up against the street on the sidewalk, with our backs to the street, and he had us in a half moon like this. He said, just like Krishna's eye. Huh? And he would stand at the end. So he's looking at the street. And he's looking down the sidewalk. He's seeing both things. Hmm? And we even had a melody, a special raga for Hollywood. Hmm? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This was our special... Uh, Hollywood melody. Hmm? Even had a part B. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And Vishnu John would play at such a rapid pace. Because he would say, we don't want to leave any gaps for Maya to enter. Hmm? We don't want to leave any gaps to Maya to come in. So he was playing fast and furiously and he would be dancing on his toes. It looked like he was floating and playing Mridanga. Hmm? And he was amazing. He would, because all we did was Nam Sankirtan. We would go downtown LA all uh, in the daytime. And in the nighttime, we would be, at least Fridays and Saturdays, we would be chanting all night on Hollywood Boulevard. He was playing the Mridanga. He had not just tape around his fingers, but he had tiles taped under the tape. Mm -hmm. So he was chanting and chanting. And all of a sudden, Vishnu John's eyes got big like saucers. And he went, Prabhupada. Mm -hmm. And he fell down on the sidewalk. Now we didn't see anything in front of us. We were looking at the, at the restaurant and the sidewalk. 
we didn't see anything in front of us that would make us do like that. Hmm? Uh, so something must have happened behind us. So we all turned around and we saw there was Prabhupada uh, in a small Ford car called uh, Admiral. Now you know how old I am, you've probably never even heard of a Ford Admiral. Uh, but the mid-sized car, Prabhupada was there. I told this story one time here in Vrindavan and Gargamuni was there and he said, yes, that particular night Prabhupada asked me, please take me to Hollywood Boulevard. I want to see how my disciples are pushing on the Sankirtan movement of Lord Chaitanya in this horrible place called Hollywood. Uh, this horrible place called Hollywood. Uh, so we all turned around, there was Prabhupada, he had his hand in his bead bag and he was making pranams to us. Now you don't know, want to know about us, who we were. Mm -hmm. Because you may, may have heard or may have not heard, but Yamaraj, he has a, an assistant called Chitragupta. Chitra, you may know, means picture. Huh? And Gupta means secret. You're thinking, oh, I got away with that. Chitragupta caught you. So nobody saw that. He keeps track of all the sinful activities of the living beings. He's his secretary of Yamaraj. Well, we were the type of people that crashed his hard drive. And Prabhupada was paying his pranams to such people as this. The pure devotee of the Lord was paying his pranams. We were totally embarrassed. We wanted to peel up the sidewalk and crawl underneath, but we all just hit the ground like that. But this Harinam Sankirtan was so dear to see the Prabhupada that even he came, he ordered his disciple to bring him so he can see us doing Nam Sankirtan on the streets, spreading the movement of Lord Chaitanya, the Sankirtan movement of Lord Chaitanya. So this Harinam Sankirtan is very important. In the old days, that's practically all we did. We became, a, overnight, we became a household word all around the world, Hare Krishna's. Now it's gone down a bit. Uh, I remember I was so embarrassed. I was, a few years ago, I was at my sister's house and her daughter's boyfriend was there. And he asked me, why do you live in India? And I said, well, I'm a Hare Krishna. He said, what's that? And my sister broke up laughing. So we don't see you guys anymore. This Harinam is so important. Everybody knew what a Hare Krishna was. Nowadays, uh, of course, now it's becoming because after we got distracted a little bit. And then we started having retreats. Now retreat isn't an end to itself. That's just a tactic. When the army gets weak, uh, then they retreat, regroup, get strong, and then they go out and attack again. Uh, so now we've been doing Harinam in the retreat. That's good. Again, we're putting our emphasis on Harinam. We're understanding the, the ecstasy of Harinam. But we're retreating from the pub. We retreated from the battle. But now it's time to take it back to the streets. We have to take Harinam back to the streets. Just like we are so happy to hear that our, uh, our New York... Uh, Nam Sankirtan party, they, re they retreated from New York City because it was so bad there. But now we saw yesterday that they're back again, chanting on the streets. And I see all over the world, this Harinam is becoming again very popular. This is most important. It was so dear to Prabhupada that even he came out there to see, uh, Prabhupada came to see and Prabhupada started. He took all the devotees. We've been just celebrating uh, for several days here in Vrindavan, we've just been listening about how Prabhupada came to America because this was the rival of Prabhupada to America. Uh, and how we took all the devotees. They were all wondering what's going to happen. They all went to uh, Tompkins Square Park. Uh, and Prabhupada, he didn't even have a Murdanga drum. He had some Congo bongo drums. And Prabhupada was playing the bongos and everybody was chanting and dancing and he started the Sankirtan movement. Prabhupada himself started Nam Sankirtan. So again, we have to take it, I'm one of the ones, we take it back to the streets. Enough of these retreats. We've understood the mercy of the Holy Name. Let's take it back to the streets. Mm -hmm. And this is the, especially now, 
Of course, we have to be careful. We have to f follow all the rules and regulations. Maybe in your area it's not possible yet, but as soon as it's possible, we should make an uh, effort to take this Harinam party back to the streets. Just like I was seeing on Facebook, my god brother uh, Palaka in Washington, D.C. He's got his kirtan party out there, everybody with, with their masks all far apart. Uh, we again have to, this is the time because people are realizing this material world is a miserable place. Everybody thought they were having a good time here, but it's just becoming miserable. The fires are burning, earthquakes are happening, floods are happening. This material world is a miserable place. People are ripe for hearing about Krishna consciousness. It's our duty to go back out on the streets and take this Harinam. Mm -hmm. uh, like that. So now we'd like to discuss something about Lord Nityananda and his Nam Sankirtan. There's one time. Lord Chaitanya, Lord Nityananda, they were in Puri. And Lord Chaitanya, one day he called uh, Lord Nityananda. And he told him that I have delivered the whole world except for Bengal. With Mahaprabhu, he took a sannyas after starting his Sankirtan movement. He took sannyas and then he went to Puri, he went all over South India. He says, but so many people are there in Bengal to be saved. Uh, and I want you to return there and save everybody in Bengal. I want you to preach in Bengal, this Nam Sankirtan. So with great pain in his heart, Lord Nityananda, he gathered all of his associates and he left, paid his obeisance to Mahaprabhu's lotus feet and he headed towards Panihati. And all his associates, they were so much absorbed in Nam Sankirtan, they didn't know it was day and night, they didn't know whether to eat or not, not to eat. Uh, they started off and they were so much in ecstasy in Nam Sankirtan, they were just going along. Finally, they asked somebody, which way is to Ganga? <laughs> you're, you're six hours off of the track. <laughs> they were just so much in ecstasy. <laughs> you have to go this way. Mm -hmm. So then again they started again, they were chanting and chanting and chanting. They didn't know whether it was day or night. They were all lost in ecstasy. It was all, especially all of these associates of Lord Ch We know that Lord Nityananda, he's none other than Balaram. Hmm? We know that famous verse. Brajendranda na jay sachi suta hoilu se Balaram hoilu nitai. So Balaram, of uh, He's the leader of all of the cowherd boys. So all the associates were none other than we call the Dwadas Gopal, the 12 Gopals. So just like a bunch of cowherd boys, they were singing and dancing the holy name. Then again, they asked someone, which way to the Ganga? They said, you're going to the Ganga? <laughs> you're 20 kilometers off the path. <laughs> anyway, anyhow, somehow they reached Panihati to the house of Raghava Pandit. And there they rested and took prasad. The next day, Lord Nityananda, he called uh, Madhava Gosh, because there were three brothers, Basudev, Madhava, and uh, Govinda, who were very, very expert singers. So he told Madhava Gosh to sing Nam Sankirtan. And Lord Nityananda began to dance. And he was dancing just like a firebrand. He was spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning like a firebrand. Uh -huh. And sometimes he would fall to the ground. He would fall to the ground. Everyone thought, oh, he's going to break all his limbs. And the next minute, Lord Nityananda would jump in the sky. And this way he was dancing. He would have all these ghost brothers sing Nam Sankirtan. Hmm? One day, he told all of the brothers, all of his associates, you bring water for, from Ganga hmm? and perform my Abhishek. So all the, everyone ran to the Ganga, they brought a hundred water pots and they performed the Abhishek of Lord Nityananda. Hmm? 
After bathing Lord Nityananda, they dried him and gave him new cloth. Uh, and they gave him some flower garlands. And then he told Raghava, I want Kadamba Mala. And Raghava Pandit said, this is not the season. If you go outside and see. So Raghava Pandit, he went outside his house. There was a lime tree. But on the lime tree, all these huge, golden, beautiful Kadamba flowers were blooming on that lime tree. We can just imagine. Just, just now, the Bengali Kadams, we have... Our Vrindavan Kadams are very small like this, but the, Benga, the Mayapur Kadams are very big like that. Just now we're getting garlands for the deities with these Mayapur Kadambas. Flowers. So with great ecstasy, Raghava immediately strung this garland and he placed it around Lord Chaitanya's neck. And then he motioned for them to get Nam Sankirtan. Again they began Nam Sankirtan. Everyone forgot his body even. And everyone Lord Nityananda glanced on with his merciful glance, they immediately fell to the ground with exhort and ecstatic love of Krishna Prem. Huh? Just by his glancing, Lord Nityananda was giving Krishna Prem. Huh? Hmm? Then another day they brought a golden throne. And Lord Nityananda sat on that golden throne. Huh? And he told them, uh, that I want ornaments. Just by his saying, mysteriously, people showed up with so many golden ornaments and so much beautiful cloth, and they dressed him up just like a beautiful coward boy. Hmm. And dressed like a coward boy again, he began Nam Sankirtan. Hmm. And again, they went through the streets, and everyone Lord Nityananda glanced upon, he began to float in the ecstasy of love of God. He was, this Nam Sankirtan was so powerful and Lord Nityananda's glance was so powerful. Whoever got his merciful glance got Krishna Prem. Hmm. Uh, this way he was dancing through the streets and chanting and chanting. Uh, another time they were doing Nam Sankirtan in Raghava Pandit's house. And suddenly Mahaprabhu stopped the kirtan. And he said, do you smell it? And everyone smelled the fragrance of Damanaka flowers, although Damanaka flowers did not grow in that area. Huh? And everyone was surprised. Lord Nitai said, you know why? And no, nobody knew. He said, Lord Chaitanya was dancing in Kirtan in Puri, and someone gave him a Damanaka garland. Huh? But he came here to our Kirtan. Unseen by us, Lord Chaitanya came. He was attracted. This Nam Sankirtan is so attractive that even Lord Chaitanya came. Uh, There's another reason why we have to we emphasize this Nam Sankirtan. This will bring Lord Chaitanya to come and join our Kirtan party. Uh, therefore, Lord Chaitanya was dancing here. Therefore, this Damanaka fragrance is spreading throughout the world. Finally, uh, they began to uh, dance through the streets. They left Raghava Pandit's house and began to dance through the streets. And they went, Lord Nityananda, with his Nam Sankirtan party again. He was dancing and jumping and spinning. And the devotees were rolling on the ground. They're pulling their hair. They're crying. Uh, and wherever Lord Chaitanya, even the atheists, Lord Chaitanya would glance at the atheists. They would become struck with Krishna Prem. Lord Nityananda, just by his glance, his merciful glance, he was getting Krishna Prem. And Lord Nityananda began to wander with his kirtan party up and down both sides of the Ganga to all the towns and villages. And all the villagers joined with him. And Chaitanya Bhagavat says, for 30 days they were uh, chanting, and everyone by Lord Nityananda's merciful glance, they forgot their bodies even. They forgot their bodies even. Hmm? In fact, Chaitanya Bhagavad describes that for 30 days, nobody went home to eat even. Mysteriously, Lord Nityananda began to feed everyone. And even the little children began to follow. And for 30 days, they were following Lord Nityananda's kirtan party. And whoever Lord Nityananda glanced on, he immediately began to float in ecstasy. Hmm? Even the Yavanas, no one could escape Lord Nityananda's mercy. The Yavanas were very envious and not at all inclined to chant. By seeing Lord Nityananda, they surrendered unto his lotus feet. 
For one month, they wandered up and down the banks of the Jumu to every uh, Ganga, to every town and village, spreading this Nam Sankirtan. And Lord Nityananda, just by his glance, uh, he would strike the people with his glance, and they would float in the ecstasy of Krishna Prem. Finally, they came to Gadadhar's house. Some Gadadhar Das is there. Hmm. And they did Nam Sankirtan for three days in Gadadhar's house. The Gadadhar went mad uh, with ecstasy. He went to the Kazi's house in the evening, chanting and chanting. This Kazi was such a person that the saintly devotees, they didn't even want to have the air that passed over the body of the Kazi. What to speak of touch his shadow or have anything to do with him. Even the air that passed his body, they, they passed by his body, they didn't want to touch. But he went to that Kazi's house, chanting and dancing like a madman. And the guards were shocked. They informed the Kazi that Gadadhar Das is here, dancing and chanting in your courtyard. And he was screaming, bring that Kazi here. I will sever his head from his body, fearless. Now the everyone was afraid in the whole village. He was fearless. Huh? And uh, the Kazi came and said, Gadadhar, Gadadhar, what do you want? What do you want? He says, you have to chant the holy name. Lord Chaitanya has descended to deliver everyone of the holy name of Hari. You have to chant the holy name of Hari. Are Gadadhar, now it's late at night. You come back tomorrow, tomorrow I will chant Hari. What does speak of tomorrow? Now you, today you chanted. He began to dance in ecstasy. <laughs> that even the sinful Kazi was delivered by the chanting of the holy name. And Gadadhar began to dance in ecstasy and that Kazi was also struck with wonder. And he also surrendered unto the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda. Then they went to Kardaha and Lord Nityananda with his kirtan party, he uh, inundated Kardaha with the chanting of the holy name. And again, Lord Nityananda would dancing and dancing and spinning. He would fall to the ground and the ground would shake. Just by his dancing, the ground would shake. When he fell to the ground, everyone thought he's going to break all his bones. And then he would suddenly leap in the air and people were leaping in the air. Children were ripping trees out by the mercy of Lord Nityananda. They ripped trees out of the ground and began to dance with them. This incredible Sankirtan party was there in Kardaha. Huh? Then they went to Saptagram. Huh? When they came to Saptagram, there was one, they came to the house of Udarandatta. Udarandatta was a gold and silversmith of that town because Saptagram was famous for the Vaishya community who did, dealt, dealt in gold and silver. And in fact, Udarandatta is an ancestor of our dear Srila Prabhupada. I don't know exactly the line, but, I, but it's been described that Udarandatta was one ancestor of our dear Srila Prabhupada. So they began Nam Sankirtan in Udarandatta's house. Then he took them, he, he invited all the other jewelers to come. They all came to his house. And then one after another, they uh, uh, got, began to get invitations to different houses. And Lord Nityananda, he took his Nam Sankirtan party from house to house. In this way, he delivered the entire goldsmith community of Saptagram. In this way, Lord Nityananda was uh, uh, spreading this Nam Sankirtan. And anyone who just got Lord Nityananda's merciful glance, he became lost in ecstatic love. Uh, so this is this, um, the fourth purpose of Iskan. Prabhupada wrote in his uh, notebook to propagate this Harinam. So just like Lord Nityananda, we have to go from house to house to village to village, putting our merciful glance because we're nothing but because we're in touch with the holy name, we can give that holy name to everyone. Now is the time, it's uh, completely, uh, people are becoming more and more distressed with material life. They're realizing mat that this material success is not going to give them happiness. This is the right time to prosecute this Harinam, give people the real happiness. Because this Nam, this Nam Sankirtan is so powerful. Even Krishna leaves his abode. Even Krishna leaves his abode wherever there's Nam Sankirtan. 
Just like in Srimad Bhagavatam, there's a verse where Narmuni asks the Lord, that, My dear Lord, where do you stay? Hmm? Huh? And Lord says, Nambasami Bhai Kunte, Yogi Nam Ridiye Suva, Mad Bhakta Yatra Gayanti Tatra Tistami Narada. The hey Narad, Nambasami Bhai Kunte. Are, what is this? Bhai Kunta is the abode of the Lord. He said, Bas, we know Bas is residence. I don't reside in Bhai Kunta. What is this? Bhai Kunta is the abode of the Lord. He's not there. A kid Bhagwan, where did he go? Where's the Lord gone? Nahambasami Baikunte Yogi Nam Ridhiesuva. We know the yogis, they're sitting in meditation for hundreds of years, even thousands of years. We can't do this uh, anymore. Uh, we can't do it anymore. But thousands of years they would sit just trying to see the ray from the toenail of the Lord. They're performing these great austerities, but Lord is telling Yogi Nam I'm not where my yogis are meditating. Madbhakta hmm? Yatra Gayanti, where my devotees are chanting, Tatra Tistami. Tistami means to sit. Lord goes and sits in that place. Huh? So if you want to get the association of the Lord, you want the Lord to come into your house, into your community, to your city, your town, Yatra Mad Bhakta Gayanti, where my devotees are chanting, Gayanti chanting, Tatra Tistami Narada, hey Narada, I sit in that place. So we want to invite the Lord into our house, into our community, then we spread this Nam Sankirtan. This is the uh, fourth purpose of Iskand that Srila Prabhupada created. Uh, so we invite all of you to take part in this Nam Sankirtan. Whatever way you can. Uh, we have to, again, we've done our retreat. Now we have to again attack and bring it to the street. Enough of the retreat, now let's go to the street. So thank you very much. We hope that you're, you all remain safe in this very difficult time and we hope we all became inspired to somehow start a Nam Sankirtan party in your area and spread this chanting of the holy name. This is the dispensation for this age of Kali. Krishna's name is not different from Krishna himself. Prabhupada has told us Krishna dances on your tongue. Hmm? When you chant the holy name, Krishna dances on your tongue. Lord is dancing on our tongue. So. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai.